Hello boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Cabin in County Cabin, Ireland. And my name is Margaret McKenna. And today I'm going to paint and draw a saber-toothed tiger. And this is one of your suggestions as are all the drawings and paintings that we do here uh, for the live streams. Um, it came uh, the other day when I asked for a few ideas and along with lots of others. And actually, if you have any uh, suggestions, please give them to me. Um, as we go along because I really really would like if you could uh, give me more ideas I have lots of ideas here and at the end of the class I'll pick out another idea so please let me know and um, all suggestions are welcome and uh, anything that you'd like to, to draw or paint and if I get it if I see any of them here before the end of the class I'll put it into the to the hat as it were and if not, I'll do it later on, okay? And we'll, and I'll get to all your comments. If there's any comments or anything, I, some, I see some of them. I don't see them all at the time. Okay, so what are we going to need today? So we're going to use a pencil. Now, I, I, we could, if you had a black, a good dark pencil as well, now we're going to draw with a light pencil. And then we'll use a pencil, a black crayon, or even black paint would do if you have a nice skinny brush. Or crayons, do fine. And I'm going to use paints. So I'm going to use some poster paints that are like this. But you can use any paints. You could use acrylic paints as long as you make sure that you have nice old, or old, nice old dirty clothes on you so you don't get all mucked up because it just takes a while to get out of your clothes. Now, um, you can also use crayons and, uh, and pencil crayons for this because it's, it's kind of a picture that you could do lots of, use lots of different things on, okay? So what are we going to start with? Well, we're going to start with what we look at, which is called like the focus. When you look at, it's called the focus of the picture. And that means it's what you look at when you see a picture. So we're going to, we look at first is that big head. And it's a saber toothed tiger, so he's pretty scary looking. Now, you can also make it into an ordinary tiger, just make, making these teeth a little shorter, because the saber toothed tiger was like a prehistoric tiger, it was much bigger than the tigers we have nowadays, and they're big. And also, it had big long teeth. But you say, if you want to have a small, an ordinary tiger, just make the teeth a little shorter at the front, these two big teeth. But we can come to that later on. So, what I'm going to do is decide how big we're going to make our sort of circle on, this, on the page. And so instead of just going in and doing a circle, because sometimes you end up doing circles way too small, and you have a tiny little tiger or a huge big tiger that won't fit on the page. So if I'm going to come down, I'm going to look at the top, where the top of that circle is there, and I'm going to look at the bottom, not the very bottom of the mouth, but where the bottom of this is. I'm going to put a tick, I'm going to put a little, and I'm going to write, oh yeah, before I go start, what do I always say? Hold your pencil lightly. Remember, we're not writing, we're using it for drawing, so you hold it nice and light, give it a little wave, give it a little shake to loosen you up, Hold it nice and light because then you can draw light because some of these lines will rub out. And if we rub them out, we want to make sure they're not too dark. Now, I have to draw dark, but that's only because I want you to see what I'm doing. So if I didn't want you to see what I was doing, it would be different. I'd be doing it nice and light too. So we're going to come down and make a little tick about here. Do you see that tick? I'll just make sure you can, sorry, just the camera's a bit. Make sure you can see that there. Tick there. And another tick. We're going to come down a little below halfway down the page, so a little under that. And another tick there and now you know what size your head is going to be okay so we're going to draw a, a sort of circle but it's a kind of a little bit a little bit out on one side you can do this very lightly to start with because you might you know you can and then you can gradually work it bigger so it's going to be something like something like that now okay now I want to get a very light line down the middle of the head now you do it really light. I'm going to do dark so you can see it. So I'm going to do a line down here, down the middle of the head. It doesn't have to be too exact. Okay, and another one I'm going to put above halfway, just about here, like that. Now there we now know where our our eyes, and that's going to be the nose, the the, the line for where our, our our nose is going to be. That's going to be where the eyes are. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with doing the eyes, the nose first. So the nose come is about halfway down. Look. So I'm going to put the nose in here. It's like a little triangle. It's very easy. A little triangle, and it's just go just on that line like that. You draw that little triangle like that. And now we're going to do two lines from each side of that, coming up a little bit out each side. See, like that. And we can actually, at this stage, we can rub out that middle line now because you don't need that middle line anymore. And that's why, it actually, that's why you should you do it much lighter than I do it, okay? So you draw nice and light. Just I keep telling you that because it's important. It's very hard to rub it out when it's really dark. Yeah, I can still see mine a little bit because I have to do dark. So we're going to draw the eyes. Now the eyes are coming on this line here, 
and we're going to and they go up in a bit of a slant they're a bit like the shape of a lemon if you look at the shape of a lemon like that shape like that look and we're going to another one it's going to come from that point it's going to go up high and the other point is going to be up there it's going to be like that now do you see that and we can actually rub out this cross line now that we have going across the face we don't need that anymore so now we have this it looks a bit like an owl there actually at the moment doesn't it anyway now we're going to come down and do his mouth so we're going to do a little tick down for that so it's like a little y shape there and at first we're going to put like what looks almost like a big smiley face so it's going to be like a big like that and it's going to come up very deep on each side look see like a big wide u shape hi louise how are you Hi Faith, how are you? Um, that's great to see you. To see you. Really, Louise, how are you doing? Hope you're feeling, keeping well. Um, now we're going to come down. We're going to do the two teeth. Now the two big teeth are coming from each side of the face out. So you come out a little bit on each side to the roughly past just where the edge of the nose is. And we're going to do big long teeth. And bring them quite a bit down. You can bring them down as long as you want, nearly. I'm going to two lines out and they join in a point like that. Look, see. A big point, and then we come the same on the other side. So you come out just past the side of the nose, and you do another big line, and it comes down together like that. And we do another one, it comes down to meet in a point like that. See, now we can take out those two little lines that are in the teeth, and we can take out the line in between as well, where we did our circle. It's better to do it as we go along, really, because it makes it easier to know what lines we're taking out. So now we just have, we've got a big blank space in here and that's where we're going to do our mouth. Okay, so this can get a little bit tricky because this is probably the hardest point of it. Hi Deirdre, it's Fiacra, I think he, is he going to be drawn today? I've seen some of his brilliant work he's been doing on online. Some fantastic work, he's really good. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go make the, the shape of the tongue. So roughly where you had your circle here, we're just going to make a tongue shape like that. Now, I'm not going to do the teeth just yet because if you see, he's got big black lips here. Look, I know he's got, I've got a pin stuck in there in the middle. So it's a bit of white thing. That's a pin I have sticking into the back. So I've got a black lip. So I'm going to bring that down here. And if you have a black, if you have black right now, if you've got a black or even a pencil, just color the lips in the pencil in, in the gray now, because you can means you know where to put them when you're doing the black. Okay. So I'm going to come down here and do another two lines like that. And I'm going to color that in in the dark now. So even if you have just pencil, because it's a great way of it'll mark it in, so you won't get you won't get mixed up. Because sometimes when you have so many lines, it's very hard sometimes to tell which line you're meant to be coloring in later on. And if you're doing that dark anyway in paint or something else, it won't matter if you have the pencil on it anyway. So it'll be fine. So a little bit of dark like that. And now we're ready to put in the teeth. So if anyone has just joined, I'm just telling um. Uh, dear to them just we, we put a line down the middle and a line above halfway and we put the nose on the middle line coming down and then this line which we've rubbed out you might be able to just about see them we put the eyes on those lines there and at a little angle so just everybody catch up a bit but you can play back this later on so at least and i'm putting them all on youtube as well so and we're going to put the teeth in so you just get these little spiky teeth going across like that and we can do the same up at the top. So we can do one, maybe a bigger one, then two little ones in the middle, and then another slightly bigger one like that. So now we can see them starting to look very scary now altogether. If you want to do an ordinary tiger, just make sure you just take these big teeth and just make them a little bit smaller so they'd only come to maybe about here instead. Okay, now we're going to come up and we're going to do his ears. So we're going to do two triangles. Now come out a little bit on each side and a triangle here like that, and come out the same on the other side from the middle bit and out like that. So there's his two ears and we're going to put a line sort of a little wavy line down the middle like that and a wavy line down the middle like that so that's really kind of his main face done now okay um we're going to now do his outside he's got that kind of the beard thing that goes around and all sort of like a normal tiger i suppose well they kind of don't really know exactly what saber tooth looked like they know the size they know their bones they know they looked they were kind of made a bit like um a bit like one but um you know but the thing is now that they're going to be they're going to be really 
in the past so they really can't see what they look like nowadays but they make it up as they go along a little bit they have sort of from old the way they were made up in their bones and that they seem they must look like a bit like tigers uh fiacre oh brilliant i think i saw that i think i saw his um i think i saw fiacre's um umbrellas on right afterwards that's right i did they were brilliant um okay so we're going to do the line outside here and we're going to bring it across like this now do this very light because we're going to make this more jaggedy later on okay so this is just a very light line but i'm making it heavy and i like it like this and that's going to be for his like his beard thing and a bit underneath his chin as well now but they will be i'm going to make these a little more jagged later on but just for now we'll do it like that now we're going to make his back now his back is going to come up we're going to bring it out from the side i'm just going to bring it like a big kind of pointed kind of a circle if you can make sense and bring it in like that because he's coming at you. you won't see his back feet because he's because his back his back legs will be behind so you won't see them now his these legs here if you look at this leg it's coming down nearly down the middle of the page so it's just a little bit to this just a little bit right down the middle and we're going to make it fat make good and fat legs like that and we'll put like an egg shape on the bottom for now we can check we can fix it after okay because we can take out the lines we don't need and now we're going to do another another fat leg here make these the same kind of size so we're going to make it here and a, another one line comes out like that and it's a little curve on it see the little curve on it because this leg is paws coming towards you, he's walking towards you, you see? And then we do another egg shape like that, there. So now he's coming at you, okay. Now, we can take out a little bit of this line. We don't need the middle of it. We can keep a little tick on each side like that. We can just take out that bit there. And the same here, we can take out the bit there and just leave a little, just leave a little tick across here. And we can put in the lines now for the paws as well. And I'll do one. Just like that. A little curve on them, you see? A little bit of a curve. Now we're really need, ready to paint, really. Oh, no, no, I might just do a little bit. Of, if you have a dark pencil, um, this would be, or a crayon marker even, you could actually do it at this stage um, just to make the, the lines come in here. We can just do, what I'm going to do is rub this lightly. This is the line we had here. So you can rub it down very lightly so you can still see it. You want to still see it, and it just means that you have to guide it. And now you can put in this, this shape, this kind of like the hair look. So you're going to do jagged to come in down like that. So it makes it look kind of like, like it's hair. And you can do the same at the bottom. So I'm just going to do that bottom line, rub it a little bit, so we still see it, but we're just sort of have the guide line underneath. And that's why we always draw really light, except me, because you need to be able to see it. A sunset. I'll put that in the hat. Um, dear, yeah. I have I have um, the tub there with a whole lot of suggestions, so I'll put that in before the end of the class and see what comes out. Just I just pick randomly with my eyes closed, and we're going to do exactly the same on this side here, like that. Look, zigzag, zigzag, and now we've kind of got the tiger look going on. Now we're going to paint it up first, and then we're going to come back and we can do the last bits. Now sometimes you might have to let it dry a little bit before you actually um, finish it off. Um, sometimes okay so what we're going to do is but if it's poster paint it's very easy to dry and of course if you're using crayons or, or pencil crayons you don't have to worry about that now we're going to make a, co a color here so I'm going to make a slight or slightly orangey shade so I'm going to mix a yellow here and I'm going to put a bit of red into it but be very careful with the red red is very 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 strong so don't put don't put too much red into it just Gradually, what I do if, I'm, if I've got a colour that's very strong, I gradually put it into the other colour. Don't dump a big load of a colour into one because you have to just build it up to the colour that you think is okay for it. Just like that. So you drag it in a little bit by bit so you get the colour. Because sometimes you can waste a lot of paint by realising you've put, say, a, one colour into another and you realise it's just gone completely, say, red. Because red is very strong, very, very strong. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to colour basically it all in that shade, really. Well, not at all. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the white here. We don't need white on, on the... On the, on the um, on the, on the fur part, the furry bit. So we just use this colour all over first of all. So it's a little bit like a deep, a deep kind of a, maybe a little bit. And don't put too much paint. Keep it fairly light because we're going to, um, we're going to do, we're going to come back with a bit of shading on it afterwards as well and the mark. So we'll just get this colour in first because we get this colour in first, we have to do the background yet. But you see, it's great to do this first because 
normally I work on the background first, but for something like this, I'm going to get this drying in, in, in um, have this drying away. So this is red and yellow, basically. And I'm going to colour all here, including the, this part of his outside of his ear. So it'll work down to his face in a minute. Because his face is slightly different. And we can... Now, if you've got crayons, you see, you could do this in crayons. You could do this in lots of different, lots of different ways of doing it. Now, there's different ways I could have made him furry with the paint, but I'm going to do it a different way this time. Almost like you'd see those kind of like a cartoon the way it's done with the with the with the black with the black pencil or like a crayon or marker. So if you want to do that, um, you can use paint either. But which I'll show you now in, in a few minutes. So I'm going to colour all of this in here like that. Okay. And we're going to do the same on the face. Now, I'm going to just do the top part of the face first because I want to leave little bits of white. And I want to show you where to leave the little bits of white, okay? Now, we've rubbed all the lines out. We don't need, like, these crisscross lines. If you happen, you can do that before we paint. Just so, or otherwise, so the paint will go. I mean, you might be able to see mine a little bit still because I had to draw very dark and it meant it was hard to rub out. Or yours will be easier to rub out because you use your pencil nice and light, which is the main thing. You and see how high, well, see if you're painting using your paintbrush? Just do hold it nice and light like that. Look, don't don't hold it like that. Don't hold it up at the top. Hold it nice and up high. So I'm going to come back down here like this. Now I'm going to leave a little few white lines here. I'm going to leave a line like that and a line like that. And I'm going to do just a few little. See like that? See that I'm leaving a white space there and a white space there. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to bring this all in here. If you don't do it, don't panic because you can always come back with some white paint afterwards. So don't worry about it. You can always, you never can make a really mistake in art. You can always fix a mistake. So never, ever, ever get upset if you, if you don't do it right. Lots of times I don't do it right. And then I just go back and I just fiddle around and I get to do something else instead. There's always ways around it. So there's never everything, never is anything a real mistake. Now, so we're going to put another bit down like that. And then we're going to leave another line, a white line like that. Or we leave another maybe line. You don't have to be exactly the same as the other side. It's kind of. You know, they're not exactly the same on both sides of their face. So, so there we go. So I've just left a little. And you know what to do. You sort of see the way I've left a little bit of white. I might put a little bit in there and there. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter too much. So you see now I have that. Now I've got to let that dry. Well, no, I'm actually going to come in a bit of shadow first. Now, how do I do the shadow? Because remember, we're going to have a bit. And shadow gives him look like he's kind of a roundy. It makes like he's 3D, basically. So we're going to add a little bit of brown. So I'm going to add a bit of that brown into my orangey, my red and yellow mix like that just going to make match it wash it in like that can you see there and i'm going to do this leg is going to be a lot, quite a lot of brown on this one here so i'm going to bring don't make too much paint on it don't make it too heavy paint and i'm not going to i'm going to leave a little bit of light down near the foot so the top of the leg is quite shadowed because remember his head is is hanging over it so it will be shadowed hi terry <laughs> and we're going to just bring this down uh down here like that that's my brother in Australia. Hello. And we're going to uh, bring it across the top of the foot here like that and under the foot. And see there, there's a light coming like that. See? So we leave that little bit light and we keep the rest shadowed. And then we're going to come underneath here like this. Down as far as the foot. So we leave that bit light there and then we go swing it around like that. And now we've got a shadow there. So he's getting nice and light on this side of his foot. And we can do the same a bit on the side of his nose. We can bring a bit down like that on his no on the left hand side. Because remember what I said before in another class, it's on the, the sun or the light is coming from the right, then you're going to have the, the shadow on the left. So there, you know, that's really what's important. To remember wherever the shadow is, it's the opposite side is the light. So we're going to put a little shadow here. We're going to put a shadow down around here like that. And we just put a little bit up to there. And we put it, we can actually add a little bit of shadow. So this is the brown mixed in with your yellow and your red. So you see I put a bit in there and a bit up the side of his face. And we'll put a little bit on that side too. Now, we we'll put a little bit on this ear as well because this ear is going to be in shadow as well. Just that because this won't because the sun will be hitting that one. But that side is on the left, that ear, so that'll be in shadow as well. So now we're going to get a bit of back to our brown, our yellow and red, which is a yellow and red mix first, tiny bit of brown into it. And we're going to do this side because this side of his back, we can imagine there's a center line here and that's where his spine will be. That's his backbone. So this side will be in shadow. 
here. So I'm going to add this kind of coming down like that. And it's going to go all the way down like that. I'm going to bring it all the way in like that, like that. Now, I don't have too much of it. I don't have to, if you see, I actually use quite a dry brush when I do it. I'm not using too much water on my brush, and that means it'll dry, it'll not be too much. It's, it's quite, it'll dry quite fast now. Look at that. Already that's nearly dry, which is great. Now, what we're going to do next, I'm going to do the background next. We'll give it a few minutes to dry if anybody's using paint. So for the background, it was very, very easy. All I did really was use green and yellow really through it, maybe little bits of brown. And I really just do whatever, whatever kind of color. I sometimes take the two colors up at the same time, which is quite a nice effect, see? And you can just kind of go in there and you get that lovely look, mix of colors going on the page. And this you can do thicker paint here, doesn't really matter, because you won't be going over this. And you can do lots of different shades. You can even go drag a bit of brown into it down at the bottom. See? And the reason is it just makes it look like it's coming, he's coming out of a like a jungle or lots of different plants around him. And as I say, if you want to just do it as an ordinary tiger, just take those um take those back a bit. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I should have done before we did this? I'll just continue this a bit. I might just clean my brush for a minute because do you know what I want to do? I want to do the the the, the, the mouth, the um his 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 tongue in just because it means that it'll be dry. I'm just get a little bit of red and yellow or yellow, red and white, and that makes pink. Like that. And I'll just put in his tongue. Just like that. And that's the that top bit under the teeth. Still a dark bit in there, which we will put in in black later on. We could put a bit of shadow on the tongue as well. If we mix a bit of brown again, like we did before, but we put brown into our pinky mix this time. So it's the brown with a little bit of the pink with our red and white, a little bit of brown in it. And we put a little shadow just under the teeth part, see? Just in between his teeth and just down there like that a bit. See, like that. So now you see he's got it makes him look like this, his tongue has gone back into his mouth you see so it's not just one flat color okay now we're going to go back to our plants and our greenery so as i said before we're just going to get our yellow oop, big lump of yellow there yellow and our green and we can just take them up in the brush at the same time don't be too fussy and you can add bits of brown into that if you want so it kind of gives it a like a plant kind of a feel like it's like he's coming out of the jungle which can be just really relaxed. Do lots of little strokes going different directions is quite nice. Instead of going up and down and up and down and across, do lots of little, ba little baby strokes because it makes it look almost like it's leaves. You can actually see the strokes and you know it's just not a flat background then. It's like, a, it's called impressionism when you're older, you'll see that. And that means you're just giving that, it makes it look kind of like something. It's just, you know when you look at it what it's meant to be. Um, it doesn't, it's not exactly it, but it's just, you know what it is. You're getting exact the feel of it, what it is. So you know like that that's meant to be something. It's not just a painted background. And that's what I want you to get that feeling. So see how I do lots of little strokes, go in different directions. It's quite fun this bit really. It's quite relaxing, you know, because you don't have to be too exact. You can just play around. And this is a great way of doing lots of little paintings, you know. You use this when you're in, in sort of doing acrylic paintings and oil paintings too. You do use and see, I'm just allowing different colours on the brush at the same time. So you don't have to mix and have a real indefinite mix. You can do lots of different shades going through, look. And lots of little baby brush strokes, baby brush strokes like that. And I say anybody's joined in, if you have any suggestions, I've got one suggestion now for a sunset, which is great. That's going into the hat for the end of the class. And I'll pick out something and I do, I've got one, I forgot, I must have about eight suggestions there. So I'll pick out one at the end of the class and we'll see what happens, what's going to be the next one. Um, so I'll, I'll put that one in toward before we, before we pick it out. And we'll see, because there's lots of different things to do. Okay, so here we go. Now, so there's our background done, okay? Now, what I'm going to just, oh yes, we have to do now is eyes. We have just cut his eyes in. So what I did for his eyes, actually, was I got yellow and white. Got a bit of white and a bit of yellow in it. So I made a very pale, pale yellow. Don't make this very thick. Just make it very, like that. Very light. Don't put too much paint on it. And it's just paler than the, you see, it's paler than his, than his, um, than the surrounds.
Yeah. And I'm going to put a little bit of brown on his nose as well. Again, don't put too much on it. Now, now what we can do is we can start marking him out. Now, I'm going to use um, my dark pencil. If you have a pencil crayon, like a black one, it'd be brilliant. Or even a marker would be brilliant, a black marker. Now, make sure it's dry. I think mine is more or less dry, so I can actually do it. Um, if, if it is if it isn't dry, just give it a minute to dry you can, um, and come back to it. But at least you can watch when so what I'm doing in the meantime. Um, I say if you're doing all this in crayons or pencils, it won't matter anyway because it, you won't have to let it dry. So I'm basically just going to outline it first of all. I'm just going to give it, bring it down here like that. It's going to come around here. It might not be dry around the outside as much, obviously, because I've had green. Ooh, it's falling over. And I'm going to go inside on the lines here like this. I'm going to leave the claws in afterwards because that can be too wet yet. Ah, it's turned upside down on me. I'm going to sit back up there. You know what? I'll just leave him to the side because I think we know what he looks like anyway. Do we know what he looks like? We do. I think he's nearly done anyway, so I'll just leave him there for now because I can. We kind of have an idea what he is like. So I'm going to put a line here like this, and we're going to come in on a line on our foot like that. So you don't have to do the inside. See the way I left that bit there, and I'm going to leave that no line there because you can still see the top of his foot, and we're going to do line on the outside there like that and we can put these two the paw lines in now as well nice and dark okay i'm just gonna pair my pencil again get my bit blunt and now i'm going to go around the outside here as well now i'm going heavier this time as you can see unlike my other time but i'm still holding my pencil quite light high up and the reason is actually you have more control over it if you hold it too tight near the bottom believe it or not you think you've actually it's easier to do but actually in fact you get much more hard to do and you get more shaky so if you hold it back it's much more relaxed so i'm going to come in on the, on the two ears now i'm going to do the line in here like that it's a dark line like that so i'm going quite heavy now for a change and i'm going to go up like this but this is different because these are not sketching lines these are like finished lines and I'm going to do a little bit on the top. And I make this a little bit shaky as I go along this one. Not too shaky, but just a little bit, because it'll give it a, a feeling of, of hair like that. And I'm going to do a darker line down there, look. And the same along this side here. I'm actually getting a lot of green on my hand now. Be careful where you put your fingers. Don't be like me. Like that, look. See the sh little bit shaky now. I'm not doing as big as this. Little small shaky bits. And I'm going to put a big black line in here like that. Just in on the white. I'm keeping my white line. See the way I left the white? But just a skinny one coming up like that. And another one maybe up like that. And I see the way I'm doing this. See how I do it? I'm doing it scraggy along. So I'm not doing it just like a, just like a line. I'm doing it like sort of a scraggy line. If done, like up and down like that. Kind of a rough line. This is a good black dark crayon. Pencil crayon I'm using. But you can use marker would be perfect. Um, cray as I say, ordinary crayon would be perfect. You could even do it with paint. Like if you have a nice fine brush, you could do the paint um, and use some good dark, a good black. Now, see like that. Now, see? Now, we're going to come in on, we're just going to come around the nose. So we're going to get a little dip on the nose and down like that for the bit down. And we're going to come across like this big mouth area like that. So it's really outlining everything you've done before. Just leaving the eyes for a second because we did them a minute ago so i'll come back to them so i'm just going to come up here with each side of the nose those lines we did on each side of the nose like that i put my hand on the green and then we're going to go outline the teeth and of course don't forget this these big teeth these are sort of what makes him gives him his name his saber tooth the tiger name with these big teeth but you see if you don't want to do a saber tooth you can always make these teeth much smaller and then it's more like a real tiger of the modern tiger that is today's tiger and I'm going to go in between now. See where the tongue is and the teeth are. I'm going to just go in between with the black. Like that. And I'm going to go really heavy on this part here. So this is what I was saying earlier on. How his lips, because he's got those black lips, you see. Now you see him really looking at you now. And you can put a little line down the middle of his tongue, like the divine did in his tongue. Not the whole way down. Now, we're going to go back to the eyes. Now, his eyes are very dark on the top. He's got a big, it looks like he's wearing makeup, like he's wearing a lot of makeup on his eyes. He's got a big, thick, 
dark line up here like that. And a bit of a line underneath, still under dark on fairly dark, but make these fairly heavy. See? See how dark on top that is, right? And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So if you have a darker line on top and underneath like that. Thicker line. Well, it's just a dark on the bottom, but it's thicker on top. And we're going to make this big pupil. So we're going to make a big, kind of not exactly circle, kind of a longer one. And we're just going to put it like, like that. Okay. And then we've got the same on the other side. Now we can see these big eyes looking at you. I have to admit, I wouldn't really like to meet this fella. Now we're going to put a kind of like, a, again, a line. If you could draw a line like that, and it goes down into that middle, see, like, like it goes down underneath the middle. See, there's a nose, middle of the nose. You follow a line up like that. And we can make this wider, we can make this kind of scraggy again like that, like. We can make him look a bit cross, so he looks a bit too nice, looks a bit too, make him a bit darker like that. Now, okay, so we're going to bring another line underneath his eye like that, look. And another one on this side, same. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make him look like he's got kind of fur on him. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just sharpen this pencil a little bit. And I'm just going to show you where to put the fur. So to get that effect, I'm just going to get the pencil here. And I'm going to start by putting it sort of like in a ring around up here from ear to ear. And then we're going to come in again like that. And like, so I'm going to show you close there. See? And then we're going to come down a little bit over his eyes, the same like that. And we work down into the middle, so we work it like. And we do the same over this side. So we make two rings like that side there. And then we're going to come down on each side of his nose like that. So do it on each side first, because there's like a little parting on his nose. It's like the hair goes to each side on his nose. So if we bring it each side like that see and we can work down one side at a time and then we can go on the opposite side and we go like that now we could do a little bit over here we can do one bit under his eyes like that and underneath like that bring that a bit more and then we're going to bring some more out from under the side of his nose. And we'll go with the shape of the, see the way the shape of the face is going. We're going to go with that shape. So you can actually do this one first. Maybe it's an easier one to do first. And then we could do one in between up to near his nose like that. See how he's building up now. And we go down. Like, so just follow the shape of the lines going down. And we can do them in between here as well. Doesn't matter if you go into the white bits, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go over this side and we're going to do exactly the same. So following the lines around like that. I say if you use a marker, it's really good. Or a, or a pencil crayon. And you could say you could use paint if you have a narrow, you don't need a, a little brush to do that. So now we go like that. Now, I'm going to add a little bit on, his, on these hairs. So these are long, so I'm going to do big long ones. And you go with, now, this is kind of important. So instead, make sure you kind of, see if I do it like that shape. See the way I'm doing it down? See how, whole, how high I hold my brush? And you flick a brush like that. Look. So don't go that way across. You go with the shape of the hair. So think of it's going out of his face. Like that. And then we can do some on his legs as well. I'm not bothering with his back because his back is so far away that you won't really see the fur too much on it. You can put some in if you want. You can put stripes on his back because if you want to put more stripes on um, I suppose he might have had more stripes. He's supposed to be like a tiger. So I was just getting my ideas from ones I saw myself on um, Google. And some of them had stripes, some of them had auto stripes. Um, as I said, they don't really know exactly what it was like. What they were like. Now, see how I'm doing this. Watch this. See the shape I'm going. I'm not going flat. Watch. 
and it makes it look roundy it makes it look like it's coming towards you see that's quite so even if you did little lines like that first very light and then you can do your little bits on the hair on it and you're going to put a few little hairs then going down his paw as well like that and a few little ones like that look and the last little bit is his eye very important you want to make him look like he's got a really bright eye so we're going to get a tiny little brush or if you have whatever whatever kind of white you have and we're going to get a little blob of white in the middle of his pupil not on the top rim but in the, the dark roundy bit there and now you see he's looking at you you see look you need that little bit in the middle just to break it out to make it look like he's really looking at you so there we go so that's our that's our saber toothed tiger for today i don't think there's anything else i usually look and then i find something else you could put a few little flickers on his ears if you want a few little hairs up to you and um, i mean you could do more his back if you want um so now um so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed it you can look back on this on facebook or i'm going to be putting it up on youtube now as well so um you have a choice and um, which where you want to see it if you want if you didn't catch it all at the time and listen thanks so much for joining me but before we go and any oh yes i have to put a suggestion in the box straight away the sunset suggestion so i'm going to put that in as a suggestion there's a piece of paper here sunset yeah, I don't know what's going to come out, so because I'm going to just pick out something now in a minute, fold that up like the rest of them. Now, just have a look and see if I've got them all here. Yeah, I do. Okay, now so I'm going to just jiggle them all around. There they are. There, see? Can you see them? You can't see them. Let's see. You can see them there. Oh, god, I can never do this right. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I picked one. I'm doing a fox next time. So we'll have worked our way through the whole animal kingdom very shortly. Um, but a fox would be nice actually to do because you can put them in different sort of setting. So if you have any ideas where you'd like to have the fox, that would be an idea too. So um, that will be today is Tuesday, I think. Yes, Tuesday. I'm losing track of days now at this stage. And so tomorrow is Wednesday, Thursday morning, or Thursday noon. So if I do one on Thursday noon, we'll be doing a fox. And as I say, your sunset one is in there and we will get to it because each time I take this one out now, as um, I might have a new one in, I just, just put that in the waste paper basket. And um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, join me to do a fox on Thursday. And if you have any ideas what where you'd like to see the fox, let me know or I'll just, I'll make one up anyway. So anyway, see you then. And thanks so much for joining me. And you can just get this onto YouTube or back on Facebook. Thanks a million. Bye bye.